Hi, my name is Malcolm and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. In this video, I'll be going through a past year examination question on the topic of body systems. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So, let's get started. Question 1. Valerie ate four different types of food, A, B, C, and D, and graph 1 on the left shows us the amount of food before digestion, and graph 2 shows the amount of the different types of food still undigested after 4 hours. Now, based on the information given in the graphs, they want us to arrange the type of food, A, B, C, and D, in the order starting from the fastest to the slowest to digest. So, to answer this, let's take a look at the two graphs again. At first, we started off with the same amount of food A, B, C, and D. Now, after 4 hours, what do you realize happens to the amount of undigested food? You can see that the amount of undigested food decreases. Now, why do you think the amount of undigested food would decrease? The question already told you is because digestion had taken place. So let's take a look at how much food was digested for A, B, C, and D. So when we take a look at A, how much food was digested? It is actually the decrease in the amount of food. So the amount of food digested is represented by this purple shaded area. So now let's do the same for the other types of food. So for B, we know that the amount of food digested will be represented by this blue colored shaded area. Now what about for C? For C, the amount of food digested will be represented by this red colored shaded area. And lastly, for D, the amount of food digested will be represented by this green colored shaded area. So when we look at the four different types of food, which one had the most amount of food digested? We can see clearly it must be the red colored one. And the red colored shaded area belongs to which type of food? It belongs to food. C. So we can write down, for food C, it would have the most amount of food digested. But remember, what did the question want us to do? They wanted us to arrange the food from the fastest to the slowest to digest. And if C has the most amount of food digested, this tells us, must C be the fastest or slowest to digest? C must have been the fastest. So we can also write this down. C is the fastest to digest. So we can write down C is the fastest followed by the next one would be B and then A and lastly the slowest to digest must have been D because D has the least amount of food digested. As a result we know that D must have been the slowest to digest. So when we take a look at the options, the only possible answer should be option 3. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!